Hey, y'all, what's happening? Welcome back to the Stuff About Money They Didn't Teach You in School podcast. I am Eric Garcia, Certified Financial Planner, and I am flying solo today. Xavier is not with me. Now, there's a reason for that. I had shoulder surgery about three and a half weeks ago. I should be wearing a brace right now. I'm not. So if you're on YouTube, you can see me not wearing my brace. And I hope my uh, my physical therapist isn't watching this because she'd probably be upset with me right now. It's all good, though. So my schedule has been crazy nonetheless, so it's been really hard to for Xavier and I to find some some common time to record. So I'm flying solo, so you're going to get to listen to me for 10 minutes. I'm keeping it short. I want to talk about a really important subject, one that when I talk to a lot of people about it, it generally uh, they, they generally know that they need to do something in this area, but they generally feel a lot of shame and guilt because they haven't done something in it. And I'm talking about budgeting. Now, before you turn this off, because you don't want to listen to me talk about budgets for the next 10 minutes, I'm going to give you hopefully a fresh um, a fresh look on on budgeting. That's kind of how I approach budgeting. I'm going to tell you right now, I do not like to budget. I confess, I do not like to budget. The idea of budgeting on a spreadsheet, of telling myself I can only spend so much money in certain areas of of my my life, just makes me cringe a little bit. Um, I don't want to be boxed in. I think it's meticulous. There's times where obviously that type of spending um, restriction is important, but I'm talking about a different type of budget. And you're going to hear me call it a spending plan. I'll talk about that often. It's a spending plan. We're talking about creating a spending plan. Now, uh, I want to talk a little bit about the importance of this from the perspective of millionaires. Now, some of you listening, you're like, I'm not a millionaire. Of course, it's easy for millionaires to talk about money and how they spend money and save money and invest money and in, in budget because they have a million dollars. Uh, but this is a problem I find with people who make a lot of money and people who don't make a lot of money. It's the same problem. The more money you make, your cars are just more expensive. Your house is more expensive. Your food is more expensive. Everything is just more expensive, but you have the same problem where you just don't have enough money. You just need more money. If I only had a little bit more money. So I don't care how much money you make. If you're listening to this and you're like, you know, you have high income, you built some net worth, this will probably resonate with you some. Um, but here's something that's interesting, 70 to 80%, and I'm, I'm, it's, a, it's a range there because different different stats, depending on the, the year the study's done, uh, we will come up with a different percentage. But somewhere between 70 to 80% of millionaires are first generation. That means we're talking about people who have built their wealth, okay? They didn't inherit their wealth. We're not talking about the Kardashians. We're talking about people like me and you who wake up, who go to work, who do their own groceries, cut their own grass. Um, that's who we're talking about here, okay? So let, let's just keep that in mind that millionaires, financially successful people have spending plans. They budget, okay? So here, here's the fresh outtake. And I'm gonna talk about really three three reasons why you wanna have a spending plan or, or a, a budget, I'll, I'll say that. Number one is you wanna become spending aware. My first pillar of financial security is to know where your money's going. Right before you can allocate money to any goals, to to retirement, to kids' school, to pay off debt, to a beach house, you got to know how you're spending money. You got to know where your money's going. Now, check this out: sixty-two percent. This this these are numbers out of the Millionaire Next Door. Sixty-two percent of millionaires that were surveyed knew how much their families spend on food, clothing, and housing. So even financially successful people know how they're spending their money. They know how much they're spending on certain items. So the first step to reaching any type of financial goal is to become spending aware, right? When you sit down and you look at your expenses, you start to understand your spending habits and the rhythms of how you spend money, your spending treads, uh, trends, you're able to become more accountable to the financial choices that you're making, okay? And then as you're noticing these trends, the second thing is you start to have you start to have a little bit more control over your spending, right? When you're tracking your income and your expenses, and you're aware of your spending habits, you're going to be empowered to start to make decisions to real, reallocate your funds to the things that are most important to you. So your income, the money you're earning, the money in, right? And I talk about cash flow, uh, cash flow management, spending plan, money in. That's all that I have to spend, and I'm spending. The money out. I got to make intentional decisions on where I'm spending it. So we call it cash flow management. That income is the building block. It's the foundation 
of anything you want to do. It's the foundation of you building wealth. It's what's going to provide for you to pay for your kid's college, for your retirement, whatever it may be. So knowing where your income is going is so important. So once you become aware, again, you're spending aware, you're going to have more control over how you make those financial decisions. And here's what's interesting. So I, I would venture to say that um, even though 62% of millionaires, and I don't know the numbers on this, even though 62% of millionaires know how much they're spending, I'm willing to bet that the majority of them don't have traditional budgets, that they don't wake up at the beginning of the month and say, I only have X amount to spend on groceries or X amount to spend on, um, I don't know, entertainment this month. What you do find is that financially successful people have developed self-control. They make money and they're, they're controlled in how they spend it. They're aware of how they spend it and they become intentional on what they want to spend it on. So uh, our, our third reason to spend you know, to budget or to have a spending plan is to be intentional in your savings. So these financially successful people are intentional or they have a budget in certain areas, particularly saving and investing. So 80%, this is interesting, 80% of millionaires, and this is a study from Ramsey Solutions, 80% of millionaires contribute to their 401k. Now, here's what's interesting about that. When you make a contribution to your 401k, that's you spending money or, or saving money. You're using your income before you spend it on anything else, right? So in essence, when you make a, a decision to spend or to save 10%, 15% of your income in your 401k, you've just made an intentional budgeting decision. You have just budgeted for your retirement. Now, what's interesting here is Outside of those 80% who contribute to 401k, three out of four of them save elsewhere as well. They save in some other type of investment, whether it's a stock market investment, some savings accounts, or a combination of the two. Again, there's some intentionality and some purpose in budgeting for savings and investments. So I don't want to go too much deeper um, into this idea of budgeting. I don't want to go into the weeds of budgeting or the technical uh, part of budgeting. I just want to focus on these three things that a budget or a spending plan is about awareness. It's become spending aware. Once you become spending aware, you start to develop more control um, over your money, right? And you're able to start making better allocation uh, decisions on where you spend your money. And uh, the, the third thing is, I'm going to propose to you that one of those intentional places that you should budget and allocate your money before you spend it on housing and clothes and food or entertainment or whatever should be savings and investments. So I want to leave you with an action item. Um, first, I want to encourage you, if you go to my website, plan-wisely.com, uh, one of the tabs is media. There's a budget course there. Um, take a look at it. It's how we teach uh, spending, uh, cash flow management and how to build a spending plan. So um, go check that out. Um, all right, so here's an action item for you. Go ahead and pull, whether you physically, you know, pull your statements for your credit card or your bank account online to review your spending, whether you use a tool for um, for budgeting online, go ahead and look at your expenses and categorize them and get an idea of where you're spending your money. Don't make any decisions right now on where you should spend it. This is not, this is a judgment-free time. Just spend time to identify where you're spending your money. I think you'll find that it'll actually surprise you that you you spend so much in certain areas, more than you thought. And then after you go through that exercise, um, you're, you're probably going to come away with with some uh, uh, some feelings of, man, maybe I, I shouldn't spend so much here. So whenever you make a decision not to spend somewhere, uh, you want to match that with the decision to spend intentionally somewhere else. Fund that goal, pay off that debt, um, save for that vacation, whatever it may be. So uh, we're we're going to do more conversations here on on budgeting and spending plans and cash flow management but this is something that's been coming up a lot recently in some conversations that I've been having so I just wanted to talk about the three three biggest reasons why you should start budgeting awareness financial control and to save more I hope this is helpful to you again if you find this valuable go ahead and share it with someone who you think could benefit from it 
Um, plan wisely, live confidently, y'all. 